Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to your magical moon message. This is the Peace Dealer, and I would like to formally welcome and invite you into the dawn of the supernatural moon in Pisces, sun in Pisces. This is the new moon cycle of the ages, quite possibly one of the most transcendent that we'll have in a long time. Actually, the most transcendent of all time. Uh oh. Um, and that has a whole lot to do with Venus being in its exaltation while Neptune is in its dignity. We have the sun and moon here. And with the presence of Saturn and Jupiter, 12th house, this and Aquarius, this is a culmination of knowledge and energy since Uranus was conjunct Jupiter 2010 in Aries, we're coming up to the completion of the cycle. And this new moon in Pisces cycle that's coming in right now is the successive culmination of every new moon cycle we've ever had of all existence. But relative to last year, March, where, you know, through 2020 into 2021, we literally awakened self-realization that is at this stage beyond your human comprehension this is getting ready for you to transcend now this decade plus awakening cycle the full and total knowledge of the experience of the supernatural and really just your life up until this point in other words it would be misleading for me to say the supernatural will begin to start being made more aware no it's always been aware but your ability to perceive this aspect of reality is going to awaken and activate like never before it's realistic to say that this has been happening every day of your life but a uh, transit like this literally not only supercharges it but sets you off on a whole new cycle i want to call this an adventure so bad but this isn't really an adventure as much as it is a new cycle of transcendence we are literally having sun moon neptune 20 degrees coming into 22 degrees so the influence of venus here is really going to create miracles when we think of venus in its exaltation with neptune the, this is transcendently blissful connections and especially when it comes to career dreams coming true and aspects of everything that you wanted to step into you're really going to come face to face with not so much everything you've ever wanted as much as this liberated sense of basking in the divinity of your own consciousness and being in a mindset being in a mindset and perspective being in a mindset and perception to get everything you've always wanted. Which is even cooler because when we take into account how unique the Aquarius cycle has enabled us to like intensify what we're capable of, this moon transit is going to effectively transcend everything this past cycle has enabled you to understand about yourself and really through experience activate belief in yourself like you could have never before because before this you didn't have jupiter and saturn in aquarius that is transcending the ultimate knowledge behind the supernatural experiences you're experiencing Understanding the synchronicities and odd unconscious phenomena that has been occurring through you as a conduit and vessel your whole life is just going to feel like, boom, now you're on the set of the show, Supernatural. Demons, angels, mythological beings, they all exist. A lot of what we consider exorcisms happen with psychotherapists every day where demons are like psychological maladies, but you're going to now start in this cycle of, of a whole dawn of supernatural reality that's really going to in wake of the new generation, anyone born after 95, who is awakening, bringing in this new wave of, of revival, of consciousness and autonomy and independence. But before I say too much of that, because these are airy season themes,
this is getting ready in the next couple of days to activate the ultimate transcendent understanding and perception of everything you're capable of doing limited to you and what you decide to do. It's bridging every timeline in reality with the square to the nodes. But the most important thing that I can say is as the moon tightens its conjunction with this new moon, you're really stepping into a new transcendent cycle of now that you through Aquarius season gain knowledge of your self-realization of character through Capricorn season, you're divinely experiencing this. Y'all, a lot of y'all gonna have Sailor Moon moments. It's, it's leading in from an unconscious understanding of always knowing that most of these constructs don't exist, but to actually consciously experience this is the game changer. In fact, that's actually what this is. This is a complete game changer. It's the dawn of the supernatural. And like, you know, many of you are gonna break through your ability to, you know, incorporate mediumship into your everyday life. From now until Virgo season, effectively the perception around how and why you live your life is changing forever. And as the moon, you know, starts through Pisces and is sextiling Uranus and Taurus, you're radically going to really come into feeling the true experience of how your life has been the supernatural the entire time and the most supernatural facet of this life was you the entire time. The influence of Venus here also is going to uncomfortably bring you face to face to your soulmate in ways that completely destroy the fantasies you thought it, it was supposed to be with your expectations and then simultaneously excite you because you realize the real life is way better and it's also through these unions going to activate facets of your abilities too the thing is with this pisces energy it's, it's really just going to happen and that's why it's going to be a bit uncomfortable because the, the the quick nature with which this happens which it's raining by the way it just started raining right before I was about to do this. This is, I think, a sign and an omen, uh, a good sign. I mean, I don't believe in good or bad like that, but it is a sign nonetheless. And whatever it means is whatever it means. But everything about Pisces is meaning, extension of Sagittarius. This is a new cycle of transcendent meaning. This is a new cycle of really believing in the ultimate facet and version of yourself where for those of you who have your whole life been dealing with aspects of your own sensitivity and empathy interfacing with those telepathically psychically attacking you you realize that you know those are just chinks in your armor the whole time and that you are transcending above this conflict the whole time you actually realize the innate genius of your own subconscious mind that guided you through this aspect defenseless just to prove to you that you don't even really need the bulk of your armor to deal with these near duels who through their own cowardice and fear of you and your potential engage in these passive aggressive psychologically manipulative tendencies many of you are terrifying social and collective constructs because in their hubris they felt that standing up to you as an individual you would just be able to bow down to their supremacy and you single-handedly showed them that they have no power over you and they're only supreme in their own minds they bitches oh other than that yeah this is going to really game change and turn all of that around to where the the influences trying to terrorize you you're gonna you're gonna start terrorizing just by being yourself call it the reign of terror y'all stay blessed as always and really this transit is going to jumpstart you into the higher aspect of your supernatural abilities because you're starting a new cycle of being able to perceive at an astral level because neptune draws energy from your own imagination and you're starting a new cycle of incorporating these different extra dimensional realms grounding it mentally through your body in order to literally pimp and transcend every aspect of your life be very mindful about how you react to any negativity projected towards you because that inadvertently gives it power when in reality, any negativity projected towards you is just the projection of the insecurity you're triggering in literal losers. And it's gonna feel weird because you're going to realize a lot of the, the dynamics that were kind of like set up 
to, to instill some pseudo intellectual social standards you never ever ever had to abide to at all and it's going to really turn the narrative around how powerful and magical you stand as an individual and make all these influences and forces your bitch all right you badass motherfucker you you stay blessed as always